Hello. Whenever you set up a uh, WordPress theme, you'll need to set up some miscellaneous settings. Now, the settings we're going to go through in this video are fairly um, common to StudioPress themes. Most of these settings you'll use on all WordPress themes. So, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If we go to our dashboard, I'm going to go to Appearance, Customize. Now, we're going to set up different things in this customizer here. Site title and tagline, this is your title and your tagline. And to change that, you would change the theme, the, the text here. When we change that, this changes. So, if we changed this text here, and that text would change. So that's the title and tagline in the customizer. It's appearance, customize. Uh, if you want to add a logo here, it would have to be on this theme, if you're looking at header image, it'll tell you the size you would need to make a logo appear here. If it's the wrong size, WordPress will crop it and you'll only see an image, or you'll only see 400 pixels wide by 80. So that's, that's the size you would need to put a logo there. And that's in header image. If you want to do that, just click header image, Add new image and you can choose the image you want to use. It's got to be the right size. Different themes will have different sizes, but it tells you here what the size is that you need. Um, navigation. Now, you've got to make your nav bars in a. Um, they've already got to be made, but once you've made your navigation bars, this is how you choose them. Navigation, and you've got primary and secondary. So we've got. Um, and this is on this one, I think this is the secondary, and that's the primary navigation. And that's how you set them here navigation. Now, one thing you want to be careful about when it says static front page, if we change it, it says latest posts. Now, most Studio Press themes use latest posts. If we set that to a static page, if you watch over here, this will change. If we change that to a static page, it's changed. So make sure that you've got your latest posts chosen there. And for most Studio Press themes, that's the one it needs. It needs your latest posts to be chosen on the, the static front page section. Breadcrumbs, if you know what breadcrumbs are, they appear to tell you which, where you are in the site. So if we click the breadcrumbs, it'll appear over here. See, so it says uh, you are here, we're on the home page. If we're on a post, if we're on a single post page, or if we're at a post, I'll sit, click Save and Publish so we can actually see it. We'll go to that one. See here it says you are here, and we're at in the salads category, in the crunchy Thai salad. But that's that that's thumbnail uh, breadcrumbs. Turn them back off again. You can turn them on or off. It's entirely up to you. Go back to our front page. Now comments. If you turn comments on, make sure you keep an eye on because people will put spam comments on your site. So we're in uh, appearance, customize, and we scroll down to comments and trackbacks. And you can turn comments on here if you want to turn on comments. Trackbacks are a bit like comments, but you, it's a link to pull to web pages that have linked to you. You sort of link back to them as a bit of a courtesy type thing, but. Uh, not many people enable trackbacks. Quite a lot of people enable comments because they want people to comment on the, the, the content they've written in the site. Now, there's one other um, option that you might find useful. It's content archives. So if we open that, this controls how a page would look when you look at a blog style listing page. So if we look at the admin user, the, the, the person who wrote this post, if we look at their list of posts over here, this blog style listing, where you've got one post above another one, is controlled by this content archives. Now, this one, it displays post content with a content limit of 280 characters. That's how many characters are here. So if we change that, say to 600, 
more text will appear here. Put it back to 280, we'll go back to 280 characters here. If we don't want to display this featured image, untick the box. If we wanted a different size featured image, we could choose one here. It depends on your theme. Different themes will have different options for image sizes. Sometimes we've only got one or two options. This has got quite a lot of options. So suppose we wanted a thumbnail of 150 square instead of this big thumbnail. We just change it. Put it back to the one we had. If we want it to be left or right aligned, we just choose here. So we want it to be right aligned. We just change that. And when you scroll to the bottom of the page, if more posts are available, you get these next buttons here. And that's post navigation type. Now, if you change it to previous, and this is in a studio press theme. Not, not all themes have these, this, this content archive section. Not all themes have this option, but studio press themes do. Um, or most studio press themes. Click. Previous and next, and it'll change the style of these buttons. See, now we've just got a text link. So if we change it back to a numeric, and we get this nice buttony type effect. Anyway, that's how we do that. And what we did, we'll click Save and Publish. Just remind ourselves of how we got there. In our WordPress dashboard, we went to Appearance, Customize, and we could change the title and the tagline. We could add a logo image, select the navigation bars we wanted to use, and things like enable breadcrumbs, comments, and set the way that the blog style listing pages look.